All right, I think I'm gonna go do a little bit of fishing this weekend, but before I do, I'm gonna tie up a couple flies. Uh, one of the flies I really like, I tried last time, it's got great action in the water. That's right here. Little rabbit tail, little EP brush, some chenille, and some heavy eyes. Worked really well, ended up sticking a huge gar with it while I was searching for tarpon down on the coast, but uh, figure I'll show you all how to tie it. So, got a size three Gamagatsu hook right here. I've got some chartreuse six aught thread. So just get a good thread base going. You don't want it to spin on you. So I, I cut these pretty good. Give it a couple really good wraps. tag and take your rabbit strip I go about a length and a half to two of your hook shank just personal preference whatever you want just lightly secure those and then cinch them down tight make sure that everything stays on top and is even And then I like to go in and tie on my eyes. So right forward of the eye, got some big bead chain eyes. Get those secured in. It's a super fast fly to tie. It's really easy. It's got a ton of movement. Looks great. Get those locked in. I wrap back towards that tail. And that's where I'm gonna tie in two hackles. This is just some grizzly hackle. Tied in about the same length as your tail. Again, not super important. The fish don't care. Pretty flies catch fishermen. Flies that work catch fish. That's what I've always said. So get those secured one on each side. Snip off your excess. And then I like to go in behind that with a couple pieces of flash. I've got some chartreuse here, four, five strands, something like that. Personal preference, whatever you want. <clears throat> Just lay that right on top. Get that wrapped up tight. Boom. Now, EP brush. I think this is the two and a half inch EP brush, something like that. So you're going to tie that in. and then palmer it as you work your way forward. I'll leave that up here by the eye. So just pull everything back and wrap. Pull everything back and just wrap all the way forward. We're gonna brush this out at the end so it doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get it close. And I don't do touching wraps with this. I like to save this material. I don't like to use a whole lot of it. So I don't know. Six good wraps or so is all you need. There we go. We'll take that and lock it in right behind the eyes. Step off that extra. Pull everything back. Give you a couple more really good locking wraps. Crisscross the eyes again. We're gonna go in and tie some of this chenille in. I like gray with this color combo. I think it looks really nice. So, again, tie that in right behind the eye, snip off your excess, and then just go in and wrap it forward. Do a couple wraps around your eyes, kind of build up a little bit of a head there. Again, not super technical. This fly is super easy, super fast. Just back and forth over the eyes. And then one or two in front. And then cinch that off. I'm going with your whip finisher. I usually give it two 
really good whip finishes to lock everything in. Boom. Just snap that off, and then I go in behind that with a little bit of UV resin. Just a little dot. Both sides. Cure it with your light. Boom. And that's it. Kind of smooth everything out with your hands, and then I've got a little gun cleaning brush, a little wire brush, and I just gently hit it with that to pull out any trap fibers. Just like that. Boom. Straighten these up. That's all there is to it. Slow sinking, kind of suspending. Even though it's got those big eyes, that rabbit tail kind of keeps it up top. It's got a ton of movement. It looks great in the water. Go try it out. It could be a pipe, but there's something right here that's kind of tarpon shaped. <laughs> a positive. Jeez. <laughs> Dinosaur. I do. Just doesn't care. He's manhandling me. Spit it out, please. Can you grab that? Okay. Maybe I can get him. No, 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 don't do that. <laughs> 